Yo, what's up everybody? Gonna get to that Yellow and Souls video, try and help some people out. By no means am I an expert at this, or is it guaranteed to work? You know, just what I do, and it seems to slow down the process of the yellowing. Let's jump into it. This is what you need, guys. This is it. The same stuff you use when you made too much chicken and you want to save it. Same stuff you use when you made too much cake and you can't fit no more in your stomach and you want to save it. You wrap it with this and this is what you're going to use to wrap those soles that are going to get gross and yellow. Guys, before we even get rolling with this, I want to give credit where credit is due. I learned this method from young Dr. Seuss here on YouTube. So all props go to him for this. And uh, let's jump into it. First pair I want to show you guys is the Detroit Piston 6s. As you can see, I think that's pretty icy for the age of them. Um, the one that you don't see the bottom is still wrapped. And I'm going to show you guys how to wrap it. How I wrap it, that's how I wrap them. But I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. And you can see that sole looks pretty icy still. The easiest way to do this is to leave it on the roll. Okay? Take a nice size like that. Just bear with me guys, I don't have a tripod, I'm doing it one hand, so you place the sneaker in the middle and then you just come over top like this with it, okay, then you just take it, okay, so now you got it all, got it all. now as you can see, it's wrapped one side, show you guys. Then I'm going to show you guys some uh, experiments I've been doing with yellowing soles right after we finish this part. Now you guys can see I placed the sneaker in the opposite direction, long ways across a piece that I ripped off that's about the same length as the other one. And you take it and you just wrap it over like so. And then you take this piece, wrap it over, and that's it. You don't want to make it too tight, make sure there's you know, a little air hole to breathe, and that's it. You have it all wrapped up, and then you store it. And like every couple of months, I do it every couple of months. Sometimes I get lazy. Sometimes, you know, some pairs I haven't done ever. They've just stayed wrapped, and I haven't really had a problem like that. But I do hear if you leave them too long like that, that um, the midsoles could dry out and crumble. I haven't had that problem because I do leave air to breathe. Like you see on this pair, there's a hole right up here. So air does get in there. So, and this doesn't prevent yellowing, it just slows down the process. I like to try and keep my soles icy, you know, it's just the way I am. So, that's why I do this. I'm going to show you the things I've been working on also with the experimentation. Alright, you have the Wolf Gray 5s, which I have wrapped on and off, uh, I would say like every 2-3 weeks. This pair I haven't been lazy with, and the ones that I'm showing you, because... I've been testing some things out to see what works and what doesn't work. And you can see it does have some yellowing around the jump man up here, around here. Um, over here there's some yellowing. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera. Over here there's some yellowing. But this has been two weeks, two, three weeks on, two, three weeks off. Two, three weeks on, two, three weeks off. Now this one has been wrapped from the jump these and you can see they still have the blue tint whereas this has lost most of the blue tint this one has kept the blue tint and this has been wrapped since day one since day one and I never took it off till I shot this video and what is it a year now and I really can't see any yellowing whatsoever at all on this uh, this is the fives that dropped last year the uh, people were calling them the Olympics the USA the Independence Day but these are them I'm going to show you some other pairs. I almost forgot. Let's take a look at the netting also on the fives. As you can see, the Independence uh, fives, it's icy as hell, the netting. And the same thing on the Wolf Grey. The Wolf Grey really just the soles started to yellow, but the netting did not. The, the netting still actually has a, somewhat of a blue tint to it, which is surprising. Okay, then you have the Oreo 6s, which have been wrapped from the jump from day one when I got them. They still look pretty icy, um, even, sorry about that, I want to show you the sides of them. They still look pretty good. 
by the air unit. Still look pretty icy. And this is, you know, a pretty old, older pair. Same thing for the Lakers. They look pretty good. Those are still wrapped, as you can see. I have them wrapped entirely. Try and zoom it for you guys. There is like in here, you really can't see it, but there's holes there for it to breathe. And um, these also have been wrapped from the jump and they've held up pretty good. You can see that they're really, really icy. Next up, we have a pair of 11s, which I knew everybody was gonna ask about, so I also broke them out. These are the cool gray 11s. Um, as you can see, you have yellowing around the traction pod. The way I've been wrapping these have been pretty much every two months on and off. Um, I don't think this works out too well. As you can see from my other pairs, um, when you wrap them from when you get them, or like every two, three weeks, it works out better than alternating a couple months for breathability um, to just get the let the sneakers get air and breathe. Now I know in the pairs that I have it unwrapped that's not the case but you know they've held out pretty well. You could see my Oreos I mean they're not crumbling or or nothing and this is the first time I unwrapped them since I got them. Same thing on the Concords. These have been alternating um, I want to say like once a month on and off but also when I say once a month and when I say alternating I do one month wrap one month unwrapped so it's not like I, I change the wrapping after a month and rewrap them right away and put them back I leave them unwrapped for about a month and then after a month I take them back out and rewrap them up and leave them wrapped for another month and I'm sure you know you can use this method my suggestion would be um, you want to wrap it from the jump just make sure that there's holes on it for them to breathe and that's pretty much it you know you can see the differences from what I use go back rewind the video see what I said which method you think will work better for you I'm sure you could use this on any pad that's icy whether it be foams you know half cent uh, retro sixes fives you know, even the twos that had the icy sole, I believe it was the University Blue twos. Uh, of course, elevens. You know, anything with icy soles. And I want to give shout outs to a few guys who have been helping me out spread the word that I moved my channel. One is Optimus P. Another big, huge shout out is to Jumpman Bostic. Uh, another shout out to Hydro718. Also another shout out to Pretty Thug. Now I'm going to put all their channel links in the description of this video. So check them out. And I really appreciate the shout outs and you know, letting people know that I moved my channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you.